Welcome to the SEP tutorial series. In this tutorial you will get some basic information about the German Socioeconomic Panel Study. First of all, it's helpful to know that the Socioeconomic Panel Study is no longer just one study. Since its beginnings the SEP has grown into a family of studies. It consists of the main study, which we call SEP Core, as well as the SEP Innovation Sample and several related studies. So what is SEP Core? SEP Core is a representative annual survey of private households in Germany. It has been running since 1984. In 2018 about 15,000 households were interviewed. It provides information on the household as a whole, but also on every individual living in the household. It's also possible to do regional comparisons by merging the SEP Core data with local context indicators. Since the local data are subject to special data protection provisions, they are only accessible from selected research data centers. If you're interested in the regional data available at the SEP, please watch the tutorial on regional data. The aim of the study is to provide high-quality microdata for academic research in the social and behavioral sciences and economics. The data are not publicly available and cannot be used for commercial purposes. The study is conducted from a life course perspective and attempts to follow all respondents from the cradle to the grave. In terms of content, the study offers a relatively broad, theory-based, multidisciplinary mix of subjective and objective indicators on households, individuals and families. The SEP innovation sample, which has been in place since 2012, was developed out of two samples from SEP Core, the innovation sample and the innovation and incentivization sample. It covers about 5,500 people in 3,500 households. While the content of the SEP core study is determined by the SEP team, the content of the SEP innovation sample comes from researchers outside the SEP who propose their own survey modules. Researchers whose proposals are approved have exclusive access to the data for 12 months. After this embargo period, the data from the SEP innovation sample are made available to registered users as scientific use file. If you're interested in the type of proposals that have been approved in the past, or if you want to propose a module yourself, please watch our tutorial on the SEP innovation sample or take a look at the information on our website. Related studies are independent studies that are closely aligned to the SEP to allow for comparisons with a representative sample. These studies frequently target a particular population group. For instance, the Berlin Aging Study 2 focuses on elderly people. The study Families in Germany looks at particular types of families. If you are interested in the kind of topics which are covered by the study, you can find more information in our tutorial, Contents of the Study. Thank you for listening.